Hi everyone, welcome to Math and Logic. Last time I showed you a quick trick as introduction to my method of squares. Today I'm presenting the whole core of the method. So we know that if you want to multiply numbers that are just two digits apart, for example 19 and 21, you can instead take square of the number in the middle and extract 1. So 20 squared is 400, minus 1 is 399. Now we want to take numbers that are further apart, as you can see in this table. All those pairs have 20 in the middle, or in other words, average of each pair is 20. But they are further apart, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Now let's note down the distance from the middle 20. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If now we square this distance and extract it from square of the middle, so 20 squared is 400, we will get the final result, as you can see in this table. And so 18 times 22 is the same as 400 minus 2 squared. 17 times 23 is the same as 400 minus 3 squared, and so on. So here is the description of the method with example below. When multiplying two numbers, find the middle or average between them and the distance to that middle. Then square the middle and extract from its square of the distance. Of course, there will be no integer number in the middle if you multiply even number and an odd number. This can be handled by simple modification, but it's for another video. And those are all the basics. Let's talk for a moment about using this method. While this method is very simple, there are two main challenges. First, how to find the middle. If you multiply close numbers, you can just see in your mind what is in the middle and what the distance is. For example, between 23 and 27, in the middle there is 25. If numbers are so far away that you have problems to see the middle, you can quickly calculate it just as any average. Add the numbers and divide it by 2. Sometimes it might be more convenient to find the difference between the numbers and divide that by 2. It will give you the distance to the middle first, which you can easily use to find the average. Quickly finding average of two numbers is a useful thing and I hope to pause the video showing how to do it lightning fast. Ok, second challenge is quickly calculating squares. You have to do it twice as you extract one square from another. And this is where the name of the method comes from after all. What if I told you that I have a method of memorize or calculate squares that will allow you to square any number up to hundreds in milliseconds? I will show it to you as a part of this series. I will show you also other shortcuts allowing you to get squares of even bigger numbers so you can use it in the method of squares. I will expand this method to include multiplying odd number by even number and also to include numbers further apart. In the meantime you can subscribe to my channel and check my videos on fun logic puzzles and outside of the box thinking. Thanks for watching!